Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at the roguelite deck builder, Battle Harrow in Crisis, available for PC on Steam. Parody is incredibly popular. I mean, it makes sense that many people would want to explore the nature of relationships with beloved characters. Unfortunately, most IP holders do not authorize their franchises to appear in games with adult content. Self-serving fanfiction that has no relationship to the source material, however, is completely fine. But somehow, Battle Heroine Crisis is an authorized game based on the Freezing series of anime and manga. Well, technically, it is based on the Jushin Shi Freezing anthology called Crossmake. But in short, we are dealing with the characters from Freezing, which is all about genetically engineered young women called Pandoras. Basically, they're Pokemon who go to school while fighting to save the world. Oh yeah, and lots of existential angst, because I'm pretty sure that's some kind of legal requirement for manga in Japan. Gameplay-wise, you have different levels to play and unlock, where you start with a deck of cards and then add cards as you play through the various stages. There is a story that progresses as you complete challenges and unlock various animated sexual interactions with sound. The art is solid and the music is decent, but if you're unfamiliar with the Freezing series, then there is a lot that isn't going to make sense. To be fair, if you are familiar with the Freezing series, then you know how little sense the series makes in general. But it is definitely much more confusing for someone completely new to the series. Flavor-wise, this is a little tricky. The main character that you play as is male, and the Pandoras that you interact with are all female, and some of them do interact with each other. However, this is the first game with adult content that I have ever played with less flavors than the source material. Some of the cards that you collect and play are from scenes that show some of these additional flavors. For example, there is so much NTR in this series, but none of that is in this game. Pandoras are supposed to fight monsters, but there are almost no monsters in this game. This is only really going to be weird for people familiar with the series, but that is what happens with fanfiction. Different interpretations and different focuses. Given that, you can expect to see heterosexual and lesbian interactions, along with violence, mind control, toys, BDSM, and power exchange. So much power exchange. So if you like roguelike deck building, the Freezing series, and also enjoy the flavors in the game, flavors that are significantly different from the flavors in the original series, then you will probably enjoy Battle Hero in Crisis. While that seems to me like a really, really small primary audience, I do think that there are going to be some people who are new to the series, like how the game looks, and enjoy it enough to explore the anime and manga. And that's awesome. That is the only way we will ever see more franchises like Evangelion or DXD adapted into games like this. Let me know what you think. How different do you think the content from the Freezing series is from the content in this game? While you're at it, is there an easy way to explain this series to someone who is brand new? Good luck. And until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all. 